Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what I plan on wearing for spring and summer of 2021. I've compiled I think like 36 outfits, so hopefully there's something for everyone and you get some inspiration or something, but I just think outfit videos are so fun to watch, so I wanted to bring you guys one. And I've honestly found a bunch of cool pieces recently that I wanted to share, so go for the first look i'm keeping it pretty simple i'm just wearing this oversized nascar shirt that's from ebay and then these little sweat shorts that i think are from like a yard sale or something this is honestly an outfit that i wear pretty much every day of summer it's just really easy and comfortable to throw on and then i usually just pair it with some nike ankle socks and then a pair of my air maxes all right so for outfit number two we've got these bandana pants that i sewed a while ago which is a nice elastic waistband and then i have this shirt that i thrifted and i just cut out the letters from nike just to make like my own little graphic t-shirt again just wearing it with my air maxes I just really like this more like streetwear style look, so pretty cool. The next outfit is kind of my go-to park outfit. So I found these boys plaid pajama pants out of Goodwill Outlet. Just cut them and then hem them to make these little baggy shorts. This is just like a basic plain top that I cropped. This was thrifted as well. I just think this outfit's really nice because it's kind of like the juxtaposition of the tighter top with the looser bottoms and it's just like a very great summer outfit. This look is like a little bit on the dressier side but I still think it's really cute. I just made it this skirt with some thrifted material. I think it's cute. I never really know exactly how to style it so I just went with this kind of like black baby tee that just says vote and these letters i added the letters myself just sewed them on so you could definitely just go for like a plain black top i just kind of wanted to spice it up a bit and then of course my air maxes recently for some reason i've been absolutely obsessed with these kind of like track style pants like any like cute colored sweatpants anything i've been buying and picking up from like any yard sale or goodwill whatever these are no exception i just think these are so cute they're like a little bit short so i'm hoping they look like intentionally kind of cropped as opposed to being like where's the flood so then i just paired it with this thrifted bbt that i have and then my purse which I always carry around so about a week ago I came home with these pants and this jacket from the thrift store and I had no idea how to style them I ended up just deciding that since the camo definitely gives off like a hunting kind of like country vibe which is totally fine not what I'm going for I decided to pair it with this really cropped like pink little top this look is again a little bit dressier kind of for like going out or something these boots are from boohoo these jeans are from a flea market top is from depop and then my purse is thrifted I just think this top is so cute I love the color the print and the little mesh panel right here is super unique i just feel like pairing this top with a lighter denim and then the black boot really makes the pink pop which is really cool so yeah this is outfit number like eight i don't know biggest staple for my wardrobe over the summer is definitely going to be overalls they're literally the most perfect thing they're so easy to style they're basically already an outfit put together and they're also a great cover-up so this is how i decided to style this pair of overalls they're by the brand lee and i picked them up at a thrift store for like seven dollars which was honestly such a good deal these little platform sandals are from ebay and i just feel like they give like cool like 90s kind of vibes and then this bathing suit top is also from ebay i've been loving like the kind of neon sort of like hawaiian flower florals so this is a Another um, little bikini top that I got from eBay, but I just think they're so cute. Throwing on a pair of overalls over your bathing suit and running to the beach or the pool, what a look. As I said, I've been loving the kind of like Hawaiian tropical floral print, so I found this top on eBay and I was really excited because I like the kind of like longer cut of the tank top. Shorts are thrifted and I think I just like cut off the bottom to kind of have them fray. My Air Maxes, of course. I just feel like this is like perfect summer outfit. So both of these pieces are actually new thrift finds. These jeans are by the brand BCBG and like are you kidding me? And they're also just super high-waisted which is nice. This top I'm deciding if I kind of want to crop. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone but I've kind of been enjoying the like metallic sort of trend that's been going on. I would say this outfit is like 70s inspired if I was able to like correctly remember which era is which and like which trends were popular when but I'm obsessed with this outfit, so it doesn't really matter. So once again, this whole fit is thrifted. I used my overlocker to do the little black stitching along this top and just leave like the extra strings hanging. I just really like how that trend looks. Some people don't, totally up to you. With this top, I usually just pair some sort of like black bralette or something, and then these black little Levi's are thrifted. All right, so this look, um, I've got my nice little Brandy Melville biker shorts, which first of all, everyone was like bashing biker shorts because they're out of style now. I think they're really great to style with any like over size t-shirts. I'm definitely going to keep wearing them. I'm also wearing this Nuggets jersey that I got for my birthday. I obviously made a mistake when I said I would wear a large because I forgot I guess that it was like a men's large but it's literally huge so I'm trying to figure out if like tucking it in somehow looks better. If I just let it down it's just like a dress kind of. So I guess it's fine so. so. This outfit is one of my favorites. I've got this pink little velour sweatsuit that I thrifted from Goodwill and this little black crop top I think is from H&M thrifted and then I added this little like Harley Davidson graphic so I think it's really cute. 
with sneakers, of course. I feel like the whole velour sweatsuit trend is kind of coming back and it's just very 90s, so I'm a big fan. All right, so once again, the skirt and the top are thrifted. I found this really cool, like, kind of acid wash skirt from Goodwill the other day, and it was way too big, so I just kind of, like, surged the back. And this little neutral tank top was also, I think, from a Goodwill outlet. And then again, I'm just wearing my little eBay platforms, but this is very different from stuff that I normally wear, but I honestly really like it. And, like, for the summer, sometimes it's nice to mix it up instead of just wearing, like, jean shorts all the time to throw in a little skirt or something. This outfit is kind of like 10 things I hate about you inspired. I feel like Bianca would definitely wear something like this. The skirt is from a flea market and honestly the length kind of depends on if you want to wear it more high-waisted with like a little crop top or I just like wearing it kind of lower down with this little baby tee. I think it's like the perfect combination. Okay, just for like a little close-up of the shirt. Isn't that so weird? I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the first outfit that was a lot better in theory. I would love to like style the top half with leather pants, but unfortunately I have not been able to find a good pair. I'm wearing these black jeans from Toby and they just have like the little crossover button. And this top is thrifted and I'm just wearing this little black bralette. As I mentioned before, I love a very like cohesive look. So I'm obsessed with this purple shirt that perfectly matches these tie-dye purple pants that I made a while ago. I honestly don't know why they tie-dyed this poorly, like they're 90% white, but I still think it's really cute. And then this little like motorcycle graphic t-shirt is from a yard sale, it was like 50 cents, so that's that. I decided that I needed at least one outfit that was like a good layering for spring slash summer, so I decided to create this outfit. This little mesh top is from Goodwill. It was actually new with tags when I got it, and it just kind of reminded me of like the tattoo sleeves that you get like when you're a kid. Um, but I just really like how they look. And then over top of it, I'm just wearing this little Harley Davidson top. I will be honest and say that I thrifted this for like 50 cents in like the little boy section. And then and then I just ironed on this little Harley Davidson graphic, which I really like how it turned out. And then I just paired it with this thrifted black mini skirt, the little platforms again. And one really nice thing about these mesh tops is that they're very breathable, so they're not bad for wearing in the summer. I decided I need to throw in another like basic outfit or two. So just wearing my nice little Levi shorts. And this little crop top is just thrifted. Nothing very exciting, but I feel like this is such like a basic summer outfit that's just like kind of a staple in everyone's wardrobe so we've got yet another race car shirt outfit these shorts i think are actually like men's swim trunks that i bought new from a yard sale this shirt my nice danica patrick race car shirt it's so cute so fun and i just love that the neon green matches continuing on with the like hawaiian tropical floral print this dress that i thrifted from goodwill you probably have seen it in like a previous haul video is one of my favorite things ever. I just think it's so cute. I'm obsessed with the colors. It's exactly what I wanted. And I love the bottom, how we've kind of got like the slip underneath, but then there's like a little bit of lace, like right where your shoes are. I feel like you could style it with honestly like any like platform shoe or heels or anything. I just really like how it looks with the sneakers and the white. That's just me personally, but I just feel like being on a beach somewhere, like what a great outfit. This outfit's a little unique. I'm actually gonna come a little bit closer. You can kind of see the top. I recently made this top and I think it looks literally so cool. But the only problem is, and I like how I layered it with the white top, I don't know what pants to wear. I have these green scrubs that I thrifted. I honestly, I don't mind this look, but I feel like something about it's kind of off. Honestly, maybe it'll look cute with that like ruffled acid wash skirt that I wore like a few outfits ago. I don't know. All right, so we've got yet another overall outfit. These are actually fairly new, this dark denim Dickies overalls that I got from eBay a few days ago. And then for this little denim top underneath, I don't know if you can really see it, but I actually made this. Honestly, I like how the front looks. The back with the zipper is kind of a mess, but I think it's really cute. And I do like a good denim on denim look, so I feel like this is really fun. Here's another outfit kind of playing with like the silhouette. So I really like a high-waisted like baggy pant with like a little tank top. So this is kind of like the epitome of that. This is actually from the brand Shein, but it was thrifted, so it's secondhand. Um, and then these pants are Wrangler, and I've had them for like forever. I added this little like elastic in the back because they were too big, so now they fit like perfectly on the waist. And this is a little black and white ensemble that I've put together for you guys. I'm like losing my mind. It's just, like outfit 20 or something. All right, so this little corduroy jacket is, I believe, from the brand Gap. It's thrifted. This little halter top I've had for like forever. It's from Forever 21, and it's just got this kind of like rim material. It's very cute. Um, and then I have these shorts, which were actually thrifted. I have these little like rainbow things on the back pockets. They're just cute. All right, so for my top, I've got this little like vintage Nebraska football championship shirt. I think it's really cute. I got it from eBay. And then these little pants are so high-waisted, so cute, really cool, like a mix of like sweatpants and cargo pants. I'm really a big fan. And then I have my Air Maxes. Of course, these pants are thrifted. I don't know if I already said that. 
as I'm sure you're beginning to tell, this is when I'm kind of like losing it creativity wise. Um, these little like velour sweatpants are from BCBG. They've got the little like sparkles that spell it out right there. Um, this little crop top is actually from Dollar Tree. I was trying to do this thing where I like dye graphic on it, but it ended up not working. It's supposed to be an art that says it gets better. It really doesn't look like that. Um, and then I have this vest that I think is from the Goodwill outlet. All right, well, some good news. I kind of hate this outfit. Um, I don't like this skirt at all, and I realized why I was trying to sell it. I don't really like jean skirts on me, to be honest. My plan for this is actually to cut it like a couple inches shorter and then sew in like little shorts in the waistband to make my own little skirt. This top was actually the first project that I ever made with my serger, so it's kind of like a bustier style top, but it's just out of like regular black t-shirt fabric, and I just have the white contrast stitch. So I think that's really cute, but the skirt horrible. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like 98% sure that this is actually an outfit that I had in like a previous outfit video like two years ago, so obviously my style hasn't changed that much, but this little like lace kind of top, it looks honestly more like a bodysuit because it's more fitted, so I just like to tuck it into shorts. It is thrifted. These jeans are by Lee, but they're also thrifted, and then my Air Maxes. Nothing too spectacular, but you know. So unfortunately, we have another one of those like veteran theory outfits. First of all, I feel like this looks so stupid. I really like this skirt. I think it's probably one of my favorite pieces I own. It's from Urban that I got a while ago. Um, I think the black belt looks so good. But like, I think you just have to wear it with either something tucked in or like a crop top. But like, you don't really, you wouldn't tuck this in. I don't really know. It's like almost a really good idea. So we're finally on the final few outfits. These shorts I wore a few outfits ago, but they are thrifted. This tank top is thrifted, of course. And then this vest, I actually made myself. It's out of all recycled denim. It's really nice because in the winter you can just throw on a hoodie under it, and then now you can just wear a little tank top under it, and it still looks really cute. In case you guys are wondering, this is what it looks like close up. I really like this look. I also really like how the shirt's kind of like peeking out the bottom, but you could definitely just kind of like tuck it under and it would look fine. For the last and final look, I've got this little corset top that is thrifted and then these little snakeskin pants that are also thrifted with my Air Max. I really like how this outfit looks. The only thing that I kind of wish is that the pants were a little bit looser because I feel like you can kind of see like the bottom of the corset through and also just like to have a tighter top I prefer looser bottoms and I like how the shoes match the corset and then kind of like make the snake skin pants really pop so yeah that's a wrap thank you guys for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up I hope it was like helpful just to kind of gain some inspiration because I feel like fashion has really grown and like taken off over sort of quarantine and people have been able to develop their own styles in a really cool way so hopefully this was at all helpful um, a few things. One, I just want to stress the fact that clothes have no gender and so literally wear whatever you want. Follow trends, don't follow trends, whatever. Always shop sustainably if you can. Always shop secondhand. It's so important and just so much better for the environment. Also, most importantly, wear the clothes that you have. You don't need to buy new clothes and definitely do not be afraid to outfit repeat. That's normal. That's literally how clothes work. So wear the same clothes over and over again and wear the hell out of them. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.